Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel Lisa Tropical Fruit Tree. So today just would like to update end of spring. How's my tropical fruit area going rock guys? So I would like to show you the first one in front of me is my chamber day. So this is a chamber day doing very well during the spring as well because spring we don't feel like a spring guy. You are you know that and then because we have so much rain too much rain this year and we have so much cold it's like we are back to winter again guys the weather under 10 in some night so it's crazy <laughs> this year and talk back with my jumper deck jumper deck doing so well guys so we got a new shoot right and uh, a new grow here with a bag with a very bad wind bad storm but you know we have a hell everything we have a four season in one day guy but talk about our tropical fruit trees still doing very good so this is my first one is a jumper deck doing very good doing better than uh, my jackfruit and my next store here my wife support it this is like a amazing tree it it just want to stay alive guys it doesn't matter what weather cold wind everything they still doing so well and talk about the fruit the fruit getting a lot a lot bigger and i have a one bigger fruit here where is it oh it's here see that <sighs> nice and after that we have so many fruit in there we go and so many leaves and here also Oh, this guy getting a lot bigger which is good and i have some more here as well there we go so this is my wife supported suit bell guys so many <laughs> and i have a big three fruit in here as well which is very nice exciting again and some fruit here there's a lot of new growth guys i'm so exciting i have five i have five white support add up and one black support okay and next one is uh, my mango remango guys so this is my kp mango in the crown so much died back i saw the tree was die but thank god i saw a lot of new growth coming so this has been one year now in the ground it's not in the pot guy was in the ground okay and a lot of die back i cut it out a lot and again i saw a lot of new growth coming back which is a good sign right and here very good and here so exciting and the rest a lot of new new shoot coming i am very exciting for this one guy and i thought they can't make it but finally <laughs> my main goal kp in the ground was doing okay i know it's a dive bike but they will come back guys so which is good there's a lot of new sh shoot coming i am so excited for this one so that's my kp mango in the ground number one and this is my number two kp mango in the ground look at this guys the new grow stunning very nice and look at this they try to be flower here but i don't know trees so suffer so might get a lot of suffer from the winter and spring they try to get a new shoot again. Here we go. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> and I try to clean all the white stuff around the trunk. Remember, guy, look like it's okay now. Good. Are you with the brass? Doing well. I have to do. Yeah, look like all gone now. Wash it out. Look, nice. Nothing anymore. But I have to keep eye on it. So that's my number two KP mango and this is the only one long game guy. This is in the ground as well. So everything in this tropical area is uh, in the ground, okay? So this is a volunteer salad. And that's my long game. Long game doing so well. Look at the new shoot. And they got a flower. Nice. You see that? And look at this. So stunning. So that's my long game. And here also flower. My tree this year so much suffer, guys. A lot. They get so much suffer from the winter and uh, spring. 
Oh, so, also they not they not survive, but they do doing good. And I always forgot my support dealer. So this is my support dealer. We put them down during the I think September. Put into the ground. Still okay. No nothing protect at all. Tree is very strong. Not too bad guy. So this is my uh, support dealer prolific. Have a uh, uh, nice. They said a heavy crop. That's why we get this one and grabbing. So exciting. Doing good guy. How a look. Nice. Some a little bit of. Uh, burn the floor from the floor but it's okay three still i'm um, so wide that's amazing and that's my uh castle apple castle apple doing so well too and i saw some flower here and also a lot of new shoot and also it's here so that's flower This one little bit slower compared to this my castle apple. So I have in this area, the tropical area here, I have two in the ground and Chilang got a lot a lot bigger guys, so much bigger. And a lot of new shoot coming up. Here we go. So exciting. <laughs> and I saw some flower but the little one here. See that guy? Nice. A lot of new growth which is a good park exciting and my uh red malaysian guava doing okay not a uh, like a very f amazing but they try to be survive after winters and cold all spring and summer and plus with the rain and uh, storm and everything so this year all my tropical fruit area they get a lot of bad thing <laughs> Cold, wind, hell, so much rain. Okay, so that's my kids' mango. Keep mango, my grafting dead. But the seedling, the 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 seed is was grow. It it work. It's a still so white guy. It start a new shoot here a lot, and he also. I'm not too sure should I keep or should I pull it out. Not not too sure, guy. <sighs> and my next door here, my nam door my nam door my I cut all the flower off because it's no point to keep because it look like uh, the flowers was very dry. That's why I cut it off. And it's nothing. See the new shoot yet? Nothing at all. But at least my tree still doing okay still survive they stay not moving not go back will stay the same and this is my um jackfruit guy remember i cut m more than half off because they from the die back from the frost but look it's amazing it's in the ground nothing protect at all guy and they got a new shoes here see that new shoot and here as well very good this is doing very well and got a new one here nice so my jackfruit and here guy look at this this is my lamb has avocado grow like four times you to be down to here so now look how big it is very big and we found one fruit only one i'm not it's also here only one fruit hopefully it stay this one grows so much guys but no no fruit doesn't hold it but it's okay and my next door here is my um red avocado red avocado is a lot of new growth and so many flower i can see the fruit now so many but hard to see for you guys to film it because they are still very little like this you can't see much right can't see much yeah, I will show you when the fruit getting bigger. And my next store is a Lampas avocado again. And this is my uh, passion fruit. Passion fruit have a flower was open, but now they are going to close now. A little flower and a flower here too, and here also, which is exciting. Hopefully, have one fruit from that guy. There's been two years old, 
one and a half now because last year whole year i put another side near my uh, pajola nothing grow at all guys nothing moving but now look at it oh look at this one try to take my <laughs> mango no you're going by today so that's my passion fruit and my next door here's num dot mice i pruned the flower off too <laughs> And we got a new shoot guy, which is exciting. See that? One, two, and three. So there's a three new shoot. It's a good sign for me. I know, guy, you guys see, oh, what the hell? That's exciting because there's nothing. I know because you don't understand really in a very cold weather, very uh, cold country. In Melbourne, guy, the weather is like 10 months cold. <laughs> we have not much summer at all. So for me, it's very exciting. And if you live like the semi area, like you live in Melbourne too. So I would like to show you, if you like any tropical fruit tree, please give yourself to go. Try it because I grow for one and a half year in the ground now. Most of them, one and a half year, some one and a half year, some one year, some few months, okay. But they all stay survive, guys, so which is good. And yeah, that's my num dot mice. I think I have how many? I have three, four, five of num dot mice because we love the fruit. And my very next nice store here is lychee taiso. Lychee taiso look like the flower dead. The stem stays survive still. It's nothing, no fruit at all, which is not the best sign. And any new grow, we'll see nothing yet. Because not enough sun, guys. Not enough sun. No new grow. And this is my next store here. Nam dot mai again. Nam dot mai. And you look at this guy, right? New grow. She's the top of eye. I mean, the top of eyebrow. This is the top of grafting. And here, which is a very good sign. And behind here, too. But the good. Good thing park A is flowering guys. So here we go. Look at that. Nice. Nice flower. So very nice. This guy maybe um how long? Maybe one month, two months old in the ground. So they took all the weather, bad weather, everything. So this guy took for uh weather, took for season uh, like spring, <laughs> autumn, winter. No summer yet, this guy. No summer yet, okay. And that's my castle repo. Look like it's not much moving either. But the tray is still okay. Still survive. Looks very healthy, which is a very good sign. And my next one is my um, lychee adornly. One trunk already dead. And this part was dead. I already lost one tree. If this guy lost again, I never buy this one again because this guy very hard to grow in Melbourne, guys. I tried my second time. It doesn't work no more. Okay, because look like a don Lee is very hard to grow. I like I like a uh, Thai so Thai so lychee doing very good. And this is my Kia boy. Look at that new grow, which is nice and yeah but the seed moving because this guy nothing protect at all the whole winter whole spring and you understand that the with the weather in melbourne is not the best at all and this is my uh jackfruit guy jackfruit doing not the best this one but still survive tree still survive uh, not too bad some dead already from the cold, so sad. Hopefully from now on they got a new shoe because hopefully finger cross the weather getting better. And that's my king tie. I lost this is my number two. I lost one already gone completely die. And this one not too sure. The the grattings already died, but the seedling not the noise. Maybe I'll pull it out, put something else. And my um this is my uh, hot plum. Hot plum start moving. Moving, cold come back, dead. Moving, cold coming, back, dead. Now this try very hard, this guy. And you to be here too, now gone. Froth, look, dead. Rotted. See, guy? Rotted. I lost. 
Oh my god. This expensive tree. But still survive here. I see only one here, guy. That's it. That one. See this my tiso, lychee tiso, doing very very well. Without a lot of new growth and flowering. You see my so we though they don't have a new growth yet by then when we put in the ground and not even flower. They just starting small lamb like this. But now look at that, the flower, which is good. And a new grow, guys. Very nice. So I like my Thai so If you very try, if you very want to grow light, please go into Thai so A new grow here too. Forgot. I didn't see this one. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, flower here too, guys. Here we go. <laughs> nice. Amazing. And this is my KP Mango too. It used to be two meter tall, guy, And I prune, I, I give them a cut because they'll die back very badly. When a tree still survives, which is amazing. <laughs> and yeah, got a new grow a little bit. Very hard. Uh, I think the tree is not happy because I grow them in the wrong country, wrong weather. Because they're supposed to be in the warm weather and humid. With the rain, it's not cold and rain, guy. So I think that's about it. Like I show you everything already. Nice. I love my lungan. I have only one and doing very good, thank God. So we call it Kohala. Lungan Kohala. Nice flower. Yeah, guys. So that's it. This, so this all up there for the end of the spring, guys. So I hope you enjoyed my video and please. Don't forget, give me thumbs up, share and subscribe if you haven't. And thank you so much for all your big support and likes my channel. And please keep supporting. And I would like to see you in my next video, guys. Bye.